Okay. Oh, this is a good question. Did you have, did you ever have any issues with communication when you first started your job? Was there any issues and how did you solve and what would you advise to fix the relationship? Well, I didn't have any issue with communicating because, you know, I was like a good communicator because I was a, like I told you that I was a man. He was superstar. Basically, he so, was the, he was the man behind the team. And then the, so he had because he was a project manager. So you, you can never beat him with the communication, by the way, because that's the, his DNA. Right, because you know, like three hundred managing three hundred supervising three hundred people was not easy, and then three hundred people, and I had to like you know coach them, train them, and then, and then on top of that, like all all those three hundred people that I'm talking about, they were Spanish speaking people. That means I had to sp spoke to them like in Spanish, <laughs> so you can understand how difficult it was to communicate to them. So, you know, I got this from my previous job, like, you know, communicating things because I had to give them speech in front of these 300 people. You can imagine that if you are talking to uh, 300 people and then uh, how you feel on that, uh, talking to each of them, you know, separately also, like, you know, whenever there is an issue. So I got this from my previous job. But yes, you may have problem, communication problem. But like I said that, you know, don't respond right away. The important thing is, Try to understand what you are communicating and what they want to hear from you. So you take time, which is good. Like if you delay for something for a good reason, like for understanding, which is good. But answering promptly without understanding the question is not good. Take time. If you don't know the answer, don't answer it and tell them, I'll get back to you. Let me research on it. Let me find out what's going on. Don't say I don't know. It's not a good answer, right? Okay, let me figure it out. Let me check. Let me check, okay? Because you may not know everything at, at, at that point that they are asking you a question. Like say right now, if you ask me something that I don't know, I, I will not answer. I will say, okay, let me get back to you later. Or maybe I will reply you later if I get a good answer on that, okay? So important part in communication is, first thing is that what you are communicating, you need to understand what you are communicating, understand that part, understanding that part. And then when you answer something, Understand the question. Don't understand just to reply. You have to reply something. No, you have to understand the question. What is being asked that understand that part? Okay, the point. Okay. And then try to figure out, okay, this is what he asked me. What will be the answer or what will be the, if you don't know, take time. Okay. And then if you have problem with someone, instead of discussing in front of the whole meeting, you can take it out of the meeting. Okay, let's discuss out of the meeting. You may have problem with someone. You may have argument in the meeting with someone. Stop it right there and tell them, okay, let's discuss in a separate meeting. Let's set up a meeting or you can ask, okay, let's set up a meeting with him in, in separate another time and then we'll discuss separately. So to avoid like, you know, the conflict, like this type of conflicts, you can do these steps, I believe. I know. Okay, so what you will do, what is the advice to fix the relationship? Somehow we are human beings made a mistake or the, some misunderstanding happened, what is the advice you have or the steps you will take to the fix or improve the relationship? Because we all have to work together. Right. You know, like uh, like when you have a problem, like relationship issue with your coworker, you know, I will step back. I will see my part because I cannot control the other part, right? So I will see what I did. Like, okay, is there anything that I did wrong? Because I can correct myself right away if I am wrong, right? So I will look back, I will step back, I will take time, I will go through each and every single thing that I did to that, that person. And then, like I said, that I will try to make a meeting with him and then I will explain my part. And then if it doesn't, ex it doesn't like mitigate the problem, then maybe I will, uh, I will talk to my manager and I'll explain, explain my part. And then maybe my manager can take initiative to mitigate those problems in between. If it is, uh, definitely it should be work related because in work related there should not be anything personal right so whatever you do you do for the company you're not doing for yourself you're not doing for the other person right so if if your part is the right part or correct part and the other part the counterpart like you know your co-worker part is the wrong one and then you are trying to mitigate by you know mutually understanding each other but even if it doesn't solve maybe you can involve your manager if you have a good relationship with your manager 
I think this is the way I did previously, actually, you know, in my previous job and also in my current job. But in my current job, I didn't have that issue because I tried to understand each of my co-workers, each of their expectation. And then, like, this is the, this is the way, I think. Sure.